Hey everyone, um, it's been quite a night for me. Um, this is like my debrief, I guess. Um, I feel the need to talk about it. About um, four days ago, um, I got this um, like deep kind of lesion on the inside part of my nose, um, in my like right in the inner corner of my eye, and into that area beside uh, the, the the nasal cavity. And um, it's just been getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and more painful. And then it went underneath the eye today and the swelling is there. And um, So uh, I went to the doctor and uh, what the doctor um, basically did was absolutely nothing. And uh, it, it's, it's actually what doctors do sometimes is actually, you know, it's, it's fucking criminal. Um, First, this young doctor uh, didn't feel confident enough in her own diagnosis. Um, she didn't even know what the fuck was going on. So she called in the, the big doctor, the doctor who's seen it, seen it all, been there, done that. He walked in. He took one look at it. He went, is that what's going on? Yes. Did you do that? Yes. Is it, is it going down there? Yes. Does it feel like it's going up into the eyebrow? Yes. Okay you probably need antibiotics because you have a deep infection in there um, you probably have a gland that's um, that's gotten infected and you need antibiotics and uh, uh, and, and, that'll, and that'll clear it up um, I don't think it's a blockage of the tear duct um, and I think we should refer you uh, they were gonna go refer me to emergency ophthalmology up at the hospital uh, but like I said, the young doctor didn't listen to her colleague, so she called her colleague in because she didn't know what the fuck she was doing. So she called in her colleague and then didn't listen to his instructions like a fucking idiot. And guess who had to suffer? Me. So I had to go to the hospital tonight, and I had to sit there in agony. And the doctor came in, and the first thing she did after she looked at it she's like I'm putting you on not only just one antibiotic I'm putting you on a spectrum of antibiotics for what you have I had a temperature which is a sure sign of an infection so what this fucking doctor did to me this afternoon in a clin in my own clinic you know, it's, she wasn't my normal physician I, my normal physician wasn't there so I got to see this other physician who is a complete and utter fucking idiot okay I'm sorry but you know she sat there and she told me well it could be cellulitis and that's extremely severe it's either just a deep infection or it's cellulitis both require antibiotics now she knows my family history it would have been best to give me the antibiotics based on my family history alright All, every single thing that would weigh on the side of giving me a short course of antibiotics was there and she chose not to do it and instead she just sent me home with some gauze and told me to get some um, uh, antibiotic ointment which I had already had on my person which I had told her I had already been using for three days without any change in fact got worse and went underneath the eye and I, I spoke to a friend of mine tonight and I'm writing her up. I'm making a complaint about her. That woman should not be allowed to practice medicine like that. If she doesn't even know what the fuck she's doing and she has to call in somebody else and then doesn't take his advice and doesn't weigh it out, she did more harm, okay? She did more harm than she did good, you know? She stuck me with uh, a potential, um, you know, if I, if I do end up having a blocked gland or something like that, uh, or I do have cellula or if I do have cellulitis now I'm on the proper antibiotics to treat that if I did have that right I could lose the vision in my eye okay I could lose the vision in one eye do you really think a, a musician who's been playing for fucking 30 years wants to fucking do that wants to fucking lose their vi potentially lose their vision because some little fuckhead doctor doesn't feel like writing them a script for goddamn antibiotics fuck that anyway I'm I, I've just had the most terrible two days in a row 
and I'm, you know, I'm just fucking just going to let this out. Um, because I have to. I absolutely have to. Yeah. Because I'm so fucking frustrated at these fucking doctors. And, I, and tr trust me, I love my own personal physician. She's the best. She really is the best. I mean, she's the doctor that took me off a medication that made me fucking numb to the world for six fucking years. And put me on something else that was that was much less harmful. I mean, I, I love my doctor, but it's a shame that I can't get to see her because she would have just written the scripts out. She wouldn't have even fucking sat, she wouldn't even have thought twice about it. But this anal retentive little fuck who, who just fucking, oh, well, we don't like to give out antibiotics, even though your other alternative is a disease called cellulitis, the way you could lose your vision. <laughs> and I don't know. And I don't really know what the fuck's going on, because I had to call in. Actually, she called in two other doctors, a resident and one of the head doctors there. And she didn't even fucking listen to him. Yeah, fucking, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I, this is why I don't like my, many people. Because I find them to just not be able to reason through anything or think through fucking anything. So I, I just want to put that out there because I'm just so frustrated. Um, I, I'm just so fucking frustrated. And I'm so glad that I don't have to, uh, you know, that my personal physician, you know, you know, I feel, you know, the good part about it is I, I know that if, you know, my personal physician would take care of it, but how many days was this going to be allowed to go on for? You know what she told me? She told me to wait another five days. While I'm in agony, I'm having trouble seeing. She told me to wait another five days and completely disregarded everything the two other physicians had to say. Oh yeah, fuck. Oh, she, that, that clinic's getting a letter. I swear to God. I mean, when I'm better, it's fucking, it's on now. I, I, I'm just tired of this fucking shit. Anyway, uh, yeah, everyone have a good night. I know some of my friends are really happy right now. And yeah, some of us are happy and some of us are, you know, ready to punch our cameras and knock shit up. But yeah, that's, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Good night, everyone. I'll talk to you when I can.